today is Thursday, August 20, no, yeah, 27. Mm -hmm. And it's about 9.23. And in this video, I'm going to show you my 2020-2021 classroom tour. I finally got it almost like I want, maybe about 90%. There's a few things that I still want to change out um, because this was the year that I wanted to change up a, quite a few things in my room. So there are a few things that I still would like to have done. Um, I want to change out my little saying that's on the wall. I want a different quote. Um, I still have not gone through those five, is it five boxes, four, five, six, maybe seven boxes of books. Hopefully I'll take one, one each, tackle one each day or something, I'm not sure. But most of the books I probably will end up giving to my niece that will start her teaching, I think next fall. And um, I wanna organize my, I'm looking over there, that's why you see me turn my head. I wanna organize my math manipulatives just a little better. And I think I'm gonna probably bring in another plant. I'm not sure why I'm feeling all these plants this year in my classroom, but I think I wanna bring in another plant. Once I got my room set up, I found out that I had to move my, or a table, I could have chosen any table, I had to move a table to my carpet in front of my smart board. So that's where you see me sitting here. I have a desktop here and I'm going to bring my laptop. And that's how we will roll out school starting Tuesday of next week. So our first day is September 1st. So we have not started yet. This month has been filled with lots of PDs and um, planning, putting lessons in Schoology. This year we're using Schoology. I'm not sure if I told you that or not, but um, so we've been doing lots of those. So I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to show you my classroom for this school year. So I hope you're having an amazing day. I hope your school year has um, started off with no issues, no problems. I hear there have been a few technical problems, you know, various places, and I guess we'll probably have some as well. One thing that we did yesterday as a system, everybody got on at the same time, you know, to see if there was going to be any glitches or whatever. And so far there has not been any so hopefully next Tuesday there will not be any you know any as well except for me still trying to learn how to do this thing but other than that everything is good this is the view you get from my door I have my back to the door so this is the view and I hope I'm not going too fast So that's the door I had my back to and I'm going to start this way and what you see there is two file cabinets I have some of my personal teacher favorite books on top of the file cabinet a few of those are the Wayside School collection I love those books my students do as well Phenomenal Woman, Song of the Trees, Shake Them Halloween Bones, The Dream Keeper, Hope, Please Baby Please, The Bad Sea, The Good Sea, The Cool Bean, Tar Beach. So those are some of my favorite books. Brothers of the Night. And here is just a little I call it a little teacher shrine. Most of those things were gifts to me. So here I keep my chart paper where I make anchor charts. In that corner are those books in the boxes that I never did get a chance to go through. Hopefully I still will get a chance to go through it. And I apologize for that broom and dustpan being in that corner because I think I'm gonna move that to the bathroom. So if I keep going this way, 
I have some science things up there. I have some games for recess. I have some buckets for balancing. Some resources for math, wonders. Some science and that red bin or some STEM activities that I just give the students to do. when we were doing STEM, some other reading resources, some science things there at the bottom, some center activities, some wonder and I ready math books, dictionaries, those center activities there. And there's my cabinet. And I'm gonna keep going this direction. Those are just some little storage bins and my bags. When I walk in in the morning, that's where I put my lunch bag and my camera. I moved my desk to this side of the room this year. So of course I just have some more little teacher stuff. I have that desk calendar that I keep telling you about. My pens and some markers. Okay. So that's my bathroom right there. And this is just a little cart that I keep extra things on. You see my headphones down there. That glue gun I used this morning, I'm gonna put that back in my closet. Those baskets there, I normally put center activities in and put them on the table. Those two things on top need to be hung back up. This is my math corner. I have a 120 chart. I have those math stems. My math rotation. Some various activities that we, some various materials that we use for math. in that container there on the bottom, that large one with the kind of red looking color. Well, the one on the bottom. Kids normally put their book bags and jackets in there. We don't have any hooks in this room. Little mailboxes, math manipulatives. Sorry about that, they're testing something. You know, I had to have my plants. I have a new one there in that little cup. Here's my library area. So, put those genre posters up. Three ways to read a book. And I only put a few of the genres. I think those are the genres that we start with. I will add to it later. There's a little buddy you can read to. So my library books are sorted various ways. I have some sorted by AR from 0, 0.0 to 0 0.9, from 1.0 to 1.9, and from 2.0 to 2.9. Those are ARs. I have that collection of Dr. Seuss books, which are very good for beginning readers. Lots of sight words. These down here are sorted by authors or genres. Still have some sight words, some word family. That's just a collection of favorites that I use most of the time if I'm teaching writing or um, various read alouds. Those are some guided reading C and D books. Those levelized scholastic level C and D as well. So that's the library area. These are various center activities and some phonics first resources. teacher resources and that large binder here that I need to label 
I keep all of my focus wall things in that. There's my little tool kit. My wonder works is what we use in small groups. These are reading strategies that I keep the students, teach the students. So here's my little small group cart. I keep sight words, manipulatives, and other sight words. Markers, erasers, post-its, those like earphones, megaphones, or whatever those little things are, some dry erase boards, anything that I need for small groups I put on this card here. It could be small group reading, math, writing, language, whatever. So as the year progresses, I generally add to it. That pocket chart there, I keep sorted alphabets in it so when we're making words it's just easier to pull the letters that we're working with pull about six of each so I sort them there I'll back up so you can see the focus wall this is unit one week one for wonders I need to add my vocabulary words I'm not sure where they are that's why it's not there here's my calendar math corner I have some things that I need to add to it, and I'll try and remember to show it to you, the things I'm going to add, and that clock is still wrong. So, I had to move my small group table here. It's normally in that corner there, and those pink containers on the floor, I normally put individual materials that I will use for each group. They're used to kind of spread out on the floor, right behind my chair when it's there. But all the materials I need for each group, I normally just put them all in one of those containers. Each group will have a container. So back to my teaching area for this year. It's right there in front of my smart board. I have one computer there. Of course, you know I'm gonna need another one, so I'll just plug my laptop up. And I'll get closer so you can see that side over there. All right, so that's this side over here, the dry erase board. I've got to hang up my Pledge of Allegiance poster. And those cords, I am being very careful because they're stretching out on both ends of the table. Now, no, I don't like that. All right, amazing work. Hopefully it's coming soon. I got that off of TPT, and if I remember, I'll try and link it below. It's a free resource. All right, that's my reading center rotation. On the floor there, I have some center activities. And this table held this computer that you see on my guided reading table that's in front of the smart board, and it also had some laptops on it. So I'm using the desktop that was there and the laptops we had to hand out to students. So that's why that table is empty and doesn't have anything on it right now. More desktops. A little writing area. That's the heading that I teach my students to use in their notebooks, journals, the writing process punctuation marks and, and you know I use pocket charts for my word wall I have four this year last year I had three and kind of ran out of space things were just a little tight we have a lot of words that we add to it I first of all start out with kindergarten sight words that they should have learned and I put the subjects up there so when they're heading their paper, they'll know how to spell each subject. Sometimes I put each student name on my word wall as well. I have my quote that I've had up for a few years. I think this year I'm gonna change it to something else. So if you have um, any suggestion of what quote I can put up there, leave it below for me, please. 
It just says, play nice, stay kind, dream big, and work hard. I'm sure you've seen it all over Pinterest and YouTube. So we're back to the door. I just have my rules and classroom jobs there. Oh, and nothing's on that table right now. I hang my students' library cards, so when they get ready to go to the library, they just get their card, get their AR folder, and go. But of course, things will be different starting out this year. So I have my back to that door again. These are my tables. I normally have baskets on the tables, but I have not put those out and just ignore that pile right there and these are the other things that I was telling you that I was going to put on my calendar board so ten more ten less one more one less hopefully we will have a question probably of the week that they will be able to answer either yes or no and I don't think I'm going to put up another clock. We'll just use the one that is up there and hopefully it will be fixed. We're going to do the number bun. Talk about numbers being odd or even. Do a number sentence with the number of days we've been in school. Write the word in word form. Money depository. I'm going to write the digital time. And these are just the headings. So I'm going to pan around one last time hopefully I'm not making you dizzy and this is classroom set up for 2020 2021 video guys infinity hugs and kisses